Hi, I'm Jane Turner from writewithjane.com and I've made this short video to fill you in on the five main barriers that first-time authors are likely to experience. Now the first one is what I call the process barrier. It's commonsensical enough. It's about how do I start? What do I do next? How do I get my book published? And how do I leverage published author status to build my business off the back of the book? And after getting that process question sorted, then there is the question of structure. And that is all about how do you get the information out of your head and onto the page in a way that is going to resonate with your target audience. And I use learning styles to help my authors to really fast track their way to published author status. It's a combination of learning styles, of the hero's journey framework, and of having a good solid structure set up from the beginning. So then the third barrier is what I call the mindset barrier. And that's all about how to stop running interference on yourself all of the time. How to stop those limiting beliefs telling you that you're not good enough and who's going to want to read the book by you. It's about being over, able to overcome perfectionism, procrastination, self-doubt, things like imposter syndrome, all of those you know, little, little ticks that we might have where we will go into blame, justification and denial. Look, this is one of my favourite topics and in fact I've written a book called Mindset for Authors, How to Overcome Perfectionism, Procrastination and Self-Doubt because this is a big deal. This contributes in large part to why it is that only 1% of the people who say they want to write a book ever get it done. So you really need to get a handle on your mindset to be able to get yourself over the finishing line. But beyond mindset, then there's also the question of energy. And that's about how to maintain both your productive and your creative energy. Now, I have a wonderful tool called my Creativity Priming Meditation, but there is a lot more to it than that. Keeping that creativity and that productivity happening is all about solving the other barriers, frankly, because there is nothing quite so effective as a mindset running interference on you that is going to drain your energy, as is the confusion about not knowing where to start and how to get this done. And uh, last but not least is what I call my feedback barrier. And that is all about how to keep yourself accountable, but also how to, how to remember to celebrate your wins. So it's about a carrot and it's about a stick. And one of my favourite stories around this question of feedback slash accountability comes from Simon Sinek, who you would know well as the guy who says to start with your why. Now, he runs a thriving business and he's written many books. And I saw him interviewed once. They asked him, well, how do you do this? How do you manage to get all of this done? Especially, how do you write books? Do you get them ghostwritten? And he said, no, I don't get them ghostwritten. I have a babysitter. And he didn't mean that he has someone to come in and look after the children for him. He meant that he actually hires somebody to sit with him during his allotted writing time to make sure that he gets it done. So he has someone there not only reminding him that he needs to spend this time to get the book finished, but also celebrating with him when he actually does it, when he actually achieves his goal for that particular writing chunk of time. And, uh, you know, that's, that's all very well and good for Simon Sinek, but we can't all afford to have somebody uh, making sure, literally by sitting with us, but... From my point of view, for my clients, this is something I do with them. But I have a lot of savvy strategies that don't require me to actually be physically in the room with them. But look, I hope this has been useful. And if you need any, any help at all with overcoming any of these barriers, please contact me through writewithjane.com.